Hey guys, it's Risto. Welcome back to another video. And today we're going to be doing a collab with Roboter once again. And we're here in his little UFO game. And we're going to be making some more particles. So this is another video for our particle series. And we're going to be making some fire trail effects for these uh, UFOs. Because when you're moving around, they're going to have some particles coming out the back. So we want to make some pretty cool particles for them. I think they already have... Um, yeah, they already have particles in them, it looks like. We can go ahead and... Uh, I guess we'll enable these for now just to see kind of what they look like. Okay, so something simple like that. So we only want to go out a little bit, but we got to make it look pretty cool so that um, people can look awesome when they're flying around, you know? <laughs> but we're going to get into it. Um, as always, remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy the video, and join our discords, um, Banana Butters, and Dev Center. And uh, last thing, uh, I know I promised an asset pack at 2,000 subscribers, and that should be coming before Christmas. I should have a video out on it soon. But if it delays, it's probably going to be at least before New Year's, hopefully. I'll, I'll, be, uh, I'll update you guys on that. But anyways, let's get started. Alright, so he kind of requested that this should be kind of a cartoony particle and uh, look really fun. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to try a couple different particles. I think we'll start with some like hexagons or something. Uh, but we can try a couple different particles and we'll see what looks best. I think for now, since these particles look basically identical, I think we can just remove one of them and work on this one and then add it back in later just because it'll kind of be annoying to have to go um, between them and change both of them especially since sometimes you can't just change the uh, properties when you have multiple selective particles can be really weird sometimes so we're just going to go ahead and remove that one our first thing we're going to do is actually go find a texture I think we'll just go in a toolbox and look for some hexagon texture um, yeah so I, I think we're just going to probably first start with something like this um, we'll see how this texture looks we might try some different uh, textures as we go along, but we'll try to do something with this. Now, first thing I want to do is actually um, turn off the light emission, because that way we can really make it glow, and look pretty sick. And then we'll start messing around with the colors. So I think we're gonna go with kind of a classic fire color. So we'll start with the red, maybe yeah, reddish orange, something like that, and then it'll fade out into a yellow, something like that a little bit a little bit uh, a little bit weird just because um kind of uh I don't know it looks weird but we'll just kind of uh mess around with it until we get something that looks good we have like a reddish and orange so I think I'm actually gonna try making these lighter though just because it looks a little bit harsh on the back it should probably be like a dark orangish to a yellow I think they'll look better it's already looking a little bit better um, no, that can work honestly. Um, I don't know. It's probably because of the light emission. I'll try disabling this for now, so we can actually see what the exact color will be. Um, just because I kind of want this to uh, have a have a better gradient. Yeah, that already looks better. Now we're gonna try slowly adding a light emission, just so we can have it glow, but it's not like overpowered by the uh, light emission. And I think we should make the Z offset negative one, because I think zero would be. It doesn't even matter. It just looks the same from all the angles. Um, next we're going to do, we're just going to add some uh, variation to this. Because right now this is kind of a consistent little particle. But we're going to want it to uh, actually look better. So we're going to want it to um, have some more variation with some more rotation and stuff. With rotation we're just going to start by adding uh, a range 0 to 360. That already looks a little bit better. Now I don't like this uh, hexagon because this one has like an outline I think. Um, I did not mean to do that. <laughs> I don't know which one we used before. Okay, it was probably that one. So let's try this one and see. Okay, that one doesn't have the weird outline because as you can see, this one kind of had a little bit of an outline. But that one looks way smoother, and I think we're just going to use this one now. Next, we're going to add maybe some more transparency. I kind of like what they have now, but maybe a little bit more. Um, maybe we'll increase it, and then it'll slowly fade away. Just that way, uh, so the particles aren't so uh, kind of obstructive, like uh, obstructing your view. And then we're going to add some lifetime. I think a lifetime looks good right now. But we'll maybe add, okay, we'll do 1 to 1.5. So some will actually, uh, oh, <laughs> oops, 1 to 1.5. And that will add a little bit more variation, as you can see. And then we'll also increase our rotation speed as well. We'll probably make this, you know, uh, let's do... 20 and uh, to 40. But some of them will rotate faster than the others. And also one thing, I noticed that these kind of go outside the thrusters. 
So we're actually going to go ahead and make it a little bit smaller. There we go, not fits. All right, now there we go. Um, I change up the gradient a little bit just so it kind of gets um, darker at the end again. Maybe make this one a little bit brighter just because um, we changed that one. Um, that's good, maybe. Um, maybe a little more orange. Uh, that does look better, I think. We could even do this. We could change that and make it like a gray. So we could kind of make it like trail off into the smoke. And I kind of like both of them. I feel like if we're going to do that, then we're going to want to change the lifetime to the uh, same value. Just so it's more um, consistent like that. Or maybe just very slightly, so just a point, uh, one second difference. Uh, there we go. So now we're just going to give a little tiny bit of spread angle. Just very slight. That up might even be a, uh, too much. But that's a little bit better. I think we're gonna go, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to add a couple more particles. So we'll add another particle. And we'll make this one a different texture. Or maybe we can keep the hexagons going. Okay, so we're adding a little particle here, kind of like some embers again. If you've seen my uh, my uh, previous uh, particle, my advanced one, you probably know that I did this as well. But I think here we're just going to kind of uh, make it look a little better. So we're going to put this, the offset, it's probably negative but 1. Just so we can make this the offset zero, so it's on top. And now, if we make this, uh, we can try making this different colors. I think we'll kind of just stick with this, but maybe like a darker red, and then fade away into, uh, I don't know. We'll see. I kind of like how that looks right now, though. I just think it would look better a little bit darker. So maybe if we just kind of put a darker red, and then uh, some darker yellows and everything, that might look a little bit better. And also, I want to make the, actually, we'll increase the spread angle a little bit, and then we'll increase the speed and reduce the lifetime. And I think it looks a little bit better. We might have to add a little bit more. I think this one isn't transparent enough, so maybe just have a little bit more transparency. Um, just somewhere like that. Uh, we can also actually just make this like a, like that. And I think this one should uh, basically be hardly transparent at all so we can have it come up like that but I think that looks a little bit better actually I think the lifetime and the rate needs to be a little bit higher just because there's a lot, uh, a lot more smaller particles and uh, we'll do that uh, spread angle as well a little bit we'll mess around with that and we'll uh, increase the lifetime to let's say 0.1 or 0.4 and 0.5 and there we go we kind of have um, these little fire particles coming off but I want to add some size variation to these I want to add as much as I can, which is just a little bit, but that does help a lot because now you can see we have a lot of different, um, a lot of different sizes. Maybe increase that rate again. Um, I think it looks pretty nice. Might actually have to. Uh, I don't know if I can do like half of an offset. <laughs> okay, I actually can, which is nice to know. You guys can do that now. Um, you can make negative uh, or uh, decimal offsets. I think we just want to make it a little bit, uh, I don't know, because it, it kind of like fades out too much here. So I think we just need to reduce the size a little bit later. It's this one, yes. And then we're going to make this kind of uh, have another little bump here. And then just we're, we're just going to reduce that just so it, uh, there we go. And I think that looks better, but I feel like this should trail off into a different color. Maybe um, a black like a dark color. Well, actually, it just makes them transparent, but maybe a white, actually. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Let's try removing this one. Okay, that actually looks better. I like how that looks. That looks pretty cool. And I think maybe just add one more particle that's kind of like another fire, but it's kind of longer and shoots out faster. And then we can make this big fire a little more transparent. All right, so now we're going to duplicate this fire particle, and what we're going to do is actually... I think we can have some squash. I don't know exactly how squash works. I'm going to have to try it out. Um, but I think if we just turn off this rotation and this rotation speed. Actually, no. We need to make it negative 90. There we go. Okay, that's kind of what I was wanting. That's maybe a little bit uh, too much squash. Or we can try making it actually have a graph. I think we'll just disable the other particles for now. Just to kind of see what we're working with, though. Um, let's go ahead and disable these, and now we kind of have our fire beam. And I think what we're going to do for this is actually 
change it to um let's see is it velocity parallel it is velocity okay this is velocity parallel so now it's going to be shooting in the uh, right direction now maybe just to remove that uh, is the opposite actually make it 0.5 just so it's a little bit like over it and now we're going to mess with the colors and get it all, uh, all how we want it and I think a squash is still too high this is uh <laughs> we don't maybe we probably don't want that many that much uh, that much squash so um let's just mess around with this a little bit and I think if we just straighten up the size so we delete these and kind of just make it um, a little bit more consistent it's gonna look better once we actually squash it and I think this might actually look better the more we kind of squash it though and if we reduce the uh, spread angle maybe just literally one <laughs> um, and then squash it sooner it should be a pretty nice effect honestly maybe just a consistent squash would look cool but actually we should start it bigger and actually make it smaller we'll start it a little bigger something like that and then reduce it to something like that and now if we just go ahead and mess with the colors I think we'll just do the same colors we did for that other one right there I think that's okay but now we're actually gonna um, here I think this would look a little bit cooler if we started <laughs> if we started this size, if we made it like this and then made it smaller here and then just get bigger in the middle a little bit. I want to reduce the lifetime just because I don't want the expanding past the other one. So maybe 0.8 to 0.9. Um, maybe something like that. And then I want to increase the light emission a lot more. So maybe something like that. And then we'll just change this transparency just a little bit more just so it kind of um, it shrinks sooner. Now, if we turn on these other ones, call this like fire, uh, straight fire. We'll call it straight fire, because <laughs> um, this is literally straight fire, and it's um, also straight fire. Uh, <laughs> but we'll go ahead and increase this. I think if we just kind of straighten out here, and then make it bigger towards the end, then we get to uh, squash it out a little bit. Kind of see how this looks. Maybe, uh, hmm, kind of difficult getting it exactly how I want, but you know, it's kind of about messing around with it. And I think I'll just reduce this color to um a different yellow. Oh right, no, I think this looks pretty sick. So what we're gonna do is actually just kind of touch it up a little bit, um, and then we're gonna actually make sure these are all locked to part. Just so um they kind of uh they don't uh <laughs> they don't kind of like fly away or uh or like stay in the same spot when UFO is moving. All right, and there we go, guys. I think that's our finished particle. Now I'm gonna make a color variant, and then we're just gonna see how it looks in game. I think this is gonna look sick. I'll just make a uh, another variant because uh, he wanted one. So let's move this over here, and then I'll recolor real quick. All right, and here they are. They're finished. We have this regular one that we just made. And then we have this bigger purplish uh, blue version, which I think looks really sick as well. It's, uh, it's a lot bigger and goes farther. And um, we're going to go test these in-game to see how they look and then wrap it up. Alright, here is the orange and yellow one. This one looks really cool already. It's getting to fly around in the UFO with this uh, with these particles behind us. Um, they're locked apart, so they don't kind of just go all over the place. Which I think actually looks better, um, because now you can see the whole particle all the time. And this looks really sick. I can't wait to see what the other one looks like because I really like the colors on that one more. But go ahead and see what it looks like. Alright, and here we go. Now, oh, this looks really sick. I like how this looks on the uh, UFO. Uh, you can see it from far away too, so it's kind of, um, I don't know. It just looks really cool. I love it. I think this one looks cool than the other one in my opinion. I'm really proud of how these turned out. Definitely thumbnail worthy. But anyways guys, if you did enjoy the video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and um, join our Banana Butters Discord. We are going to be releasing an update for Find the Bananas on Christmas Eve with 50 um, plus new bananas, and maybe three new zones. Uh, that includes the Void Zone, which I know a lot of you guys are excited for. But anyways guys, thanks for watching, and peace.